we are here in the stars ready to watch tapes that are ours <laughs> okay let me oh i have to also fix the audio before i do this hold on there we go i'm so good at rhyming hello 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 oh first thing i gotta do is put discord through here all right now you can be heard yay awesome. yippee yippee wahoo yay. what's up the world yay i am red i am ready with some vids of mine yay. videos that stood the test are of time just fine they are just fine this particular batch i don't know why i just happened across um mostly mostly training tapes it makes sense because those are like probably like it's probably like 70 percent workout tapes 20 percent training tapes and 10 percent like scary scary unknown yeah. tapes training tapes have to be distributed so if they're on an archive site because there's a million copies yeah but got a good mix found some chuck e cheese ones that we missed we watched a fair amount i forget when that one was i think that was last year but i found some very interesting ones this time around including one called kid check which I don't remember happening as a kid, but apparently it was a thing for people who work uh, at Chuck E. Cheese. They had to do kid checks. And so I was like, okay. Check. Yeah. The kids are here. The kids are no. here. They got to, and there's another one called, about walkthrough. You got to do a walkthrough. Don't know what that is. So we'll My figure Chuck that e. out. Walk um, Chuck E. Cheese walkthrough. You have five tokens. You're able to get to level two. So you might grind for a little bit. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even think game. about that kind of walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> so those are so those are um those are some of the tapes that we have today. Hold on, people are saying y'all are quiet. I'm gonna turn oh, you I can be louder. Find a, you can find a slice of pizza under the seventh the seventh bench to the right. Yay! I'm going to I think it's just that I am loud, so I'll make y'all louder. Black Adam. There we Yay. go. Yay! 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 Yay. There Find you go. Out. We should it's all... awesome. <laughs> Yay mode. Yay, yay mode. mode. Activated. Yay. Yay. Th there's nothing more yay for me than going to my favorite establishment, which is um, AMC Theaters, and going oh, to no. watch a good flick. So, you uh, side stream it? Yep, I'm putting up a side stream. Hopefully y'all could hear it. Does not need 60 FPS. There we go. This needs my refresh rate. One million P, uh, 120 FPS, highest fidelity. Oh, I didn't know it movies. stood for American Multi Cinema. <laughs> ah, oh, yep, I hear it. Music. It's this? really music. Oh, oh, do they have bacon? Yeah, this one, this is an archival yeah, upload. That I don't know if the person added you know, these the themselves, awesome. but... Yeah. With a name uh, like that, I can see why they still with the acronym. AMC. You know, Back working in the theater box movie. office can be quite an experience. And cinema was not a man. Each day you come and in contact with were a seemingly real. endless stream of people <laughs> whom you've never met before and whom you know nothing about. Two tickets, please. Keep it that way. <laughs> In fact, I love all my you know customers. about each customer is what you observe during your short interaction with them. There's no time for anything else. <laughs> this dude's gonna eat his <laughs> motorcycle. <laughs> I know it. Side of this class, there's no difference. They have one moment, hopefully a brief one, in which they make their ticket Hopefully, hopefully a brief one. <laughs> and in that moment, they'll get their all-important first impression of this hand. There might be a problem. It's up to you to make sure it's a good one. Thank you. Make sure they're happy, or they'll so, be hell to pay, Buster. So this is not a thing anymore. We're watching something that does not exist anymore. 
if you go to theaters now, box office, I don't see box office workers really anymore. It's all like on online. You're really a goodwill ambassador of sorts for AMC. Me, I mean, think about it. Box when you go into a restaurant or a store, like or even if COVID, you're a student like entering a classroom and then yeah. the since then, I haven't seen any more that you get from Yep, the first uh, same in Montreal. Theater, they've just, they've just moved them all inside. Yeah, they just moved them all inside. Box offices are empty, and then there's like an 80-year-old woman at a desk that will let you through. Mike is very quiet, apparently. Oh, let me, well, let me fix that. Well, or just there you go. Weird. Hi. Then it's going to make Hi. everyone else's job at the theater that much harder. Now and it's all about going into restaurant the movie theaters. So the bottom line here, for ordering a meal, yeah. and ordering a meal that they deliver to you at your seat. Those are the best. Yeah, at theaters been, that I go to, at theaters that I go to, it's you go into where like the box office would be, and just someone standing scanning tickets, and if you don't have one, they just point you to like a machine. You just do it on a machine. Go to my device. Touch my device. Yeah, go, go get your thing and send it to your email. We're providing for customers is correct. Check the ads. The phone recordings like, and the marquee is a meal. What are you bringing a meal to sure <laughs> Be aware of any special showing <laughs> or circumstances for that. Well, it is. you could have popcorn or you could have nacho, like so special nachos, or you could have of course, a chicken area sandwich. Area really oh, I can make a large popcorn is a dinner. Oh, you mean like a chicken, like a fresh, like a chicken burger, chicken sandwich? Yeah, yeah, freshly made. You're also responsible for making sure the tender is crisp. Exchange coupons. You try and smuggle that shit in here, they jump you and send you to court. Exactly. If you want a nice pasta dish, you can have it. Okay, so now you're ready to greet the public. <coughs> Nothing makes me or more excited you? to see Black Remember Adam than thinking my like movie about neighbor earlier? might be slurping well, spaghetti loudly. I love Teth Adam. <laughs> yeah, I said sit down, Black Each Adam, in five minutes and I'm like, oh I hope my spaghetti gets here soon. I need a distraction. I can't eat spaghetti properly in a well-lit room. Like the idea of eating spaghetti in a movie theater is a nightmare scenario to me. Honestly, I only went to those theaters that that's why I can't eat it. I only went to those theaters that serve you food once, and it was very hard to eat. Like they gave me my food, and I was just like, "Where is? I can't. How am I supposed to eat these fries? I like knocked stuff off my plate." Nine, ten, thirty, and fifty. Enjoy your show. Thank you. The theater business easy. is primarily a cash uh, business. Is that me numbers? Safety and security should That's what you need to get into the movie. Was she just giving change for Always a 50? Like, hey, I'd like to buy one ticket to Black Adam. One, also, can you break this 50 for me? Yeah, <laughs> and she had to discreetly Two, check for the magnetic the strip to make sure it wasn't counterfeit. One. Yeah. And three, no one other than designated individuals should be allowed in the box office. Who's this fancy lad over here? <laughs> He's the that's boy a, waiter. That's a designated <laughs> individual. He's the boy waiter! Everybody needs a boy waiter. The boy waiter type guy. The box office might be gone, but the boy waiter is always Thank God. AMC is still pulling through. Hiring boy waiter. F. Hiring boy waiter. 15 an hour. Here's your ticket. Was AMC a, friendly. Which you. which movie theater was sure the one that like destroyed themselves with a declined. movie pass? Now, let's talk about was it AMC? Oh. Speed. Oh, what a movie! Oh, oh it's terrific. Is it was playing here? That whole bus scene. Or, or no, oh, that was AMC. Oh, wait, it wasn't even it wasn't even a theater. It was like a separate app that was like movie pass. Oh was, yeah, yeah. Like, it was yeah, yeah movie pay, pass. It was like pay fifteen dollars for as many movies as you want. They and it's like fast. the most the most obviously course, the unsustainable the business model fast. ever made. One way to speed things up is and when a patron may not, not be aware that a particular line is open, you can let them know by politely making an announcement. There are two Get in line! Come here! Step up! Get over Some here! Over here. Is when a customer you just boring you to get in my line. Away from the counter to let someone else come forward. By making eye contact with the next person that's in the, the line, reason they don't <laughs> use the, that's, that's the main reason they don't use the box pace. office anymore, is you can't now, fit a scorpion chain out through the sure plexiglass. <laughs> Remember, yeah. stare the next customer also, directly in the eyes. In line, Plunge your hand right into their chest. Which Open their rib cage. And give them their change. The ushers. They need to be seating those shows. Usher. Go for it. On the Go for an x-ray attack at the end of your transaction. There you go. And by the way, the line for that film is forming on your right. Once you enter the building, you'll see it. And by the way, you'll have to enter another line. You'll see it. It's a line. Why are they forming a line for okay. the film? Enjoy the movie. They're all scared to go in. Uh, probably because they're not done cleaning the theater is the only thing I can think of. 
All right, oh, now it's your turn to see the Lion King. My agent. <laughs> 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 one at a time, please. One at a time. Really? Really? Already be a winner. Ah. Now, if the doors <laughs> not open yet, no problem. The caller should receive the same. Oh, that killed in the writers' the room. Line receive and all calls <laughs> she should be answered. So mad. She's gonna this is she's still pissed. What about when the phone's fuel. ringing and you're sort of? Busy. She's getting her final blast ready. You don't ready. handle things correctly. A three-ring circus is what you're likely to have on your hands. Oh, let's go circus. Excuse me, please. Hello, thank you for calling AMC Springdale 30. This is Kathy. Can you please hold? After completing the current I just imagine, hangs up. Go back to the I'm phone imagining someone reacting to a phone like keep tabs in like a sure split second. Like a transaction is happening so and the moment it starts ringing, they're like, oh, hello, excuse me. Okay, my little co host. That'll be seven oh, fit. Wait, phone! I've got you. <laughs> uh, you see that, folks? Thank you very much for age related policies. Exactly. You see, most of us, some more than others, do not like being asked about our age. So at AMC, <laughs> women, <laughs> right? This guy is asked about their age. I knew this guy sucked from the second he said he didn't. Yo, like those seats look cool just though. Just escalated from there. Yeah. Where do I get those purple seats? Don't ask some. AMC was in bed. Senior. <laughs> it looked like they got their purple mattress. Am AMC always has had very, very cushy seats. I don't want to go okay. a movie theater and eat, eat like a meal. Tickets. I want to go a movie Rule theater and, and go blind people. Fall asleep? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me bring my duvet in. They got those recliners. Two hours secret Anybody. bedtime room. Second yeah, yeah. Tickets cannot the be Regal resold. that I usually words, go to like a few years or back or up, like the fucking full on lazy boys else. in their theater. It's so like, yeah, just fucking take a nap. Yeah, they're. I'm finding. I'm finding out about those. Most theaters are replacing their seats with recliners, and I'm just like, oh. This is a dangerous. Unique to it's dangerous. <laughs> Some people at your window will be movie watchers. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. You cannot <laughs> allow them at any cost. <laughs> be extra careful about them. Some people are just going in for the popcorn. Finally, when it's time to close up for the night, be sure to Most of your customers should be going in for a popcorn and a Coke. Also, Wait, friendly Frankenstein chat says, I cannot stress enough, this video was still in action in 2015. I watched it when I worked at AMC. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. That's fucking Awesome, they, wow. the rules. The they don't even tell you how to use out. any of the technology. So there you have <laughs> yeah. the starting point for people when they don't come tell you to the AMC theater. The kiosk, the kiosk, touch screen, the vacuum cleaner. Lines, I need to get a job at an AMC theater and, and see if this tape is still in use. Will determine yeah. whether our guests have a positive They don't even tell you how to use the iPad running in a Palm CC emulator. People should expect to have a good time in our theater. And you, as a vital part of the AMC team, are expected to make sure that they do. Oh, I'll get it. No, oh, another big contest you've entered? Yeah, he's right here. For me? Your mother died. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> don't, leave her, don't leave your house. They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> you ungrounded. Right AMC Theaters. Whenever, I, for some reason, when I saw him pick up the phone, all I could think of was the Sims One prank calls that are like actually like scary. <laughs> we're, we're coming for you now. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like don't unlock your door. They're coming, which is like yeah. a wild prank call. I love those. <laughs> Picking that up the phone, like hello. So I'm the Viper. Like, I'm coming like soon. <laughs> so that was well, AMC. I, was the kid I had to hang. I had to close the game and stop. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I would have done the same. The Sims One, yeah, we've done, we've talked about this before. But the Sims One is a terrifying game. That's like a survival scary horror game. game. A scary <laughs> game. It is. That's back when games were allowed to be scary. Nowadays, games can only be a bucket of popcorn. Yeah, but what's not scary is when I go to my favorite hotel, the Hyatt. Yes. The oh, Hyatt shit. Regency, and the Hyatt Regency, I always get the top notch service. AKA, when I go in, they wave at me and treat me like royalty and make me uncomfortable. This is the tape that they watched. Awesome. That makes that reminds me of something. I need to do some research. In the guest's own world. 
I frequently have meetings at Hyatt hotels. I can always count on the staff for everything. Does it say what year this video came out? Team sets up the room just the way I need to be and gets me exactly what I need when I want to say this looks like 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 early 2000s. Yeah, this looks like early mid aughts to me. I swear I've seen this guy. It is hard to be on the road so much. I think I think this is still pre 911. He's got a bit of a Dracula cut. <laughs> but he doesn't have a Dracula flow. But he does have that Dracula fade. I try to always stay at a Hyatt resort yeah. when we travel. I mean, my kids love the activities, and I love the way that the staff treats my children. I mean, they always smile and ask how we're doing, and really want to know. I'm like trying to date this video based on like how Hyatt, old those I lawn chairs look. <laughs> I just realized that woman was talking about the staff of this place. Spotless. I thought she was talking about the her kids. They always yeah, smile. They, always, how we're doing. they want to know. They just want to know. I love that I shirt. Like my, my kids are future bellboys. I'm day. training them. First impressions <laughs> are very important. My children are boy waiters in practice. Smile on her face the entire time. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm interested if so any of you have respect on this, but I get like super uncomfortable fact, whenever the hotel service is too good. Is friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just not. Only, I'm not used to it. The food I've only been to a hotel too. once and in my life, so I wouldn't know. I I went to a really a, 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 a while ago. My family had like a big outing to like like all of us were in a, like a really really nice hotel. It's like one of the only times in my life I've stayed in like a like a Mark even nice, nice hotel, sure and I definitely felt uncomfortable good. with like the you amount of customer <laughs> service I was getting and like how subservient wow. everyone was. It was like, oh, this is fucking yeah. weird. I, yeah. I don't like this. Like, ooh. Yeah, like, I one time I was in a hotel that was like fancy, fancy. Oh, it's resort. I'm, I'm talking like like checkered floors with like marble busts and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it freaked me out so bad. I like the idea of a butler, but I don't want to ever meet one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really exactly that. Welcome to the higher range of staff. I I swear I saw a guy like, that looks like this. I swear I saw like one frame of a guy that looked like Hello. fucking Linus Tech Tips minus yeah. twenty years. Uh huh. What are you doing? He's what? weaving. He just put a tube through a piece of cloth. And it came he's out. weaving. Yeah, he's he's fucking working the loom. Why does he have a loom in the hotel? Oh, there's Linus. That is every, Linus. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Every every Hyatt Regency has their own loomer. His bolo tie. Hello, <laughs> it's company the policy. Hyatt Regency adventurer. It's company policy. Look. He's a loom. Is that much weaving? Good morning. Welcome to Hyatt. Hey, she looked kind of sleepy. Yo, <laughs> that was yo. yo, the handshake. Respect, old man fun face. Respect. Yeah, that's a rough Use the check, guest's yeah. name always. Always name them directly and stare them in the eye. Good afternoon, housekeeping. This man is going to help you. Yes, Mr. Smith. The Good American afternoon. flag in the David. Room. How are you? Thank you. That's How wonderful. You? David. Bye -bye. I'll be right up. <laughs> David. <laughs> Thank you. Steal the luggage. I'm sorry to say, Andy, but as soon as you open the mini fridge, there is a surcharge. Go right this way. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Get out of the hotel. Good evening, Mr. Rivera. How may I help you? Mrs. Delgado, I'll be happy to store your luggage until you return. <laughs> this is like a regular <laughs> two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that dude is going steamboat willy mode. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Can I eat in your room? Okay. He's straight up freight train maxing. <laughs> this has got to be like 2004, just judging by that woman's top. Like, yeah, maybe. Yeah, they got critters on there. And they the got quail. The graphic quail. design made me think it might be like the the graphic design at the beginning made me think pre 9/11. It's too no, colorful. But yeah, I, I think the graphic hey, design look at that behind OJ. the times. That's the uh, nuclear OJ. That's the, that's the oh, nuclear that's OJ. Sunny they, they gave me the that's sunny Yeah, that's Sunny D right there. That We're drinking stuff is still semi solid. We're drinking straight egg yolk. <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't nothing to me, man. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. This is present. This is presented in such a strange way. It is. It, you know what it reminds me of? Oh, yes, thank you. Fucking a very smoky 420 Thanksgiving from Kyle. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're actually Kyle Looney. this evening. However, our audience yeah. is absolutely fabulous. It's the transition. It's sushi great. Okay, look at the look at the guy nodding. nodding. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Shit out of this. Oh. <laughs> it's a southern Australian shiraz. 
I also have a Washington State. Uh, this guy is a Yakuza what? extra. Vogue Sellers Merlot. Yeah, a little bit. Very nice. Top end Merlot of the this house. This is such an interesting, Here's like... Room keys. If you need anything they're else, not actually, like, no. telling you to do anything. They're Five just showing you, like, three, examples. Five, <laughs> what do you yeah. Like, what are you supposed to train really with it? Like, you show this video to someone, you stop the video, and then it's like, all right, do that. Ma'am, why are you If you know, you know. The aesthetics of this place are so strange to me. Like, I'm wondering, like... And this, invite them back. This must be like one location. The theme is so weird. It's like a mix between like Outback theme and dentist office. There's a lot of... Uh, I've been to a lot of hotels just from like delivering thank you very much and like there's a lot of hotels <laughs> that just have like really <laughs> we weird clashing themes okay, like especially hyatt the reservations at the hyatt mr Matthew? thank the guests okay. they, please they, come back yeah, we'll see they got a dang oh she's gaming they got a cheesecake factory <laughs> problem going on where they just shove a bunch of themes yeah. and aesthetics into one building I, gaming on see, the I job was this, the rainforest cafe the i was again. i was thinking it's kind of a cheesecake factory situation but like at least in cheesecake factory they've kind of combined it into like something that like it feels almost almost coherent even though it's mm. obviously not whereas with this it feels like the fucking it feels like the set of the crystal maze it feels Cheesecake like you're gonna factory. walk through one a door and just be in a different theme oh Cheesecake factory is kind of oozed together and it makes it it, it is the it's like the white woman world what would i do i, I yeah. always hoped that cheesecake factory would just look like a fucking industrial you. workplace Not me that needs help. You need cheesecake factories help. occupy like a, a shared uh, contiguous oh wait, wait, uh, you just said we all need help what's your name and room number what? Good afternoon, sir. How can I help you? Oh, it's not me that needs help. You need the help. As a matter of fact, this entire hotel needs help. Uh, I, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name and room number? He's pissed. His name's Jackson. Carl Jackson, room 509, although I don't see why that matters. Uh, no one has been able to resolve it so far. I don't know why you'd be any different. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> the problem that I'm having is that I checked in on Monday and I asked for a refrigerator. They said that they'd send one right up to my room. Three hours later, no refrigerator. I called down again. I asked for the refrigerator to be sent to my room. They said they'd send it right away. I left for my training dinner. I came back. What was in my room? Not a refrigerator. <laughs> it was too late at that point. I decided I was going to call in the morning. This morning I wake up. I call again and ask, where is my refrigerator? No refrigerator. They said that they had run out of refrigerators yesterday and that they'd send one up immediately. <laughs> I went to my training this afternoon. I come back to my room. Again, no refrigerator. <laughs> I call back down to the front desk. Not only do I not get a refrigerator, but a woman that gives me attitude on the phone. I'm down here for the fourth time, and I want to know, where is my refrigerator? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, noise. Reach across the counter and shock him! I'm the shocker. If you don't have shocking, if you don't have shocking grasp as a cantrip, please use the certified taser that we keep. Why is it just? Oh. No, that sound. That sound means that her meter's charged. Oh, you're right. How can I help you? Where's my car? I specifically asked for my car to be brought up to the front of the hotel at six o'clock. It's now six fifteen. It's not here. I have to be at dinner reservations twenty five miles away at six thirty. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Up. I'm sorry, sir, for this. this I really like these, Valley. Take I really like for these last two ones. Right they, they're they're getting like these really, oh, really tame. What would you do? These like really tame, like sheepish looking people to play like angry customers uh -huh. <laughs> like they, they can't deliver this dialogue in like a convincing angry customer you said, well, you said like, it's screwed oh, up deal? that's so it's all screwed up it's screwed the, up this, the sweetest little baby puppy is walking up to you like <laughs> man it's just so dang sad you didn't bring my milk to up to my room and now my mama is dang dead Actually, no, I'm so not. sad it's you did terrible it. i can't believe that you would <laughs> serve something of this caliber in a restaurant like this I want the 92 Cabernet and I want it right now. And another <laughs> thing, the silverware is moment. filthy. I want the table reset immediately. Oh, this might actually be earlier. Oh, what actually would you do? What would you do? I'd be like, uh, what is a what is a Cabernet or whatever you just said? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd probably just shrug and go, I don't fucking work here because I don't work there. <laughs> Yeah. Can you imagine? How was Cabernet? Order, the like ordering drinks at a well, restaurant. It's okay. And it was but like, honest, hey, can I have Long Island iced tea? And the fucking waiter with the spot. menu, I was like, the what? The what? 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 I, don't know, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> we serve like burgers and stuff. Do you want a burger? I know we have those. And could you substitute the onion confit for the bok choy? And then instead of the miso mango broth, which doesn't sound very good, I'd like the cucumber consomme. 
I am in a bit of a hurry, so I need this served. In She's right about miso and mango not sounding like a good combination. Friends, so. Like that sounds. <laughs> I don't know about that. What would you do? I love or, I love when you order just naming everything else that you're not ordering and saying it doesn't sound good. <laughs> like, I don't want the hot dog. It doesn't sound good. Or I don't want the, the fries. Those don't sound good. I don't uh, know. I, I'd like to order the hot dog set meal, but instead of the wieners, good could morning. you replace that with the bok choy? Yes. And instead of the <laughs> buns, could you replace that with a, uh, I don't know, a, a steak? Okay, Mr. Nato, there's Thank your you. charges. How replace the, the, replace the, the wieners with the bok choy and replace the buns with Looking the over wieners. Looking my bill, I see quite a few phone <laughs> charges that I'm really confused about. I asked the clerk when I checked in, if I set up my laptop computer, will there be any charges? And she told me that there would be no charges. And I see $75. So I downloaded the all the Sopranos and now I'm being charged. Charges. I don't understand what these charges are for. Um, Ma'am, uh, you, you know She what? said this laptop computer, which makes Every me think I into a tell, I always very early 2000s. Yes. Are going to be. And the, and that other woman was asking for like a 92 right Cabernet, which like you wouldn't be that is drinking that like Because I don't later. feel it's necessary or you, to pay these charges. you would be drinking charges. that like And when I'm told years that later. there's not going to be a charge hmm. applied to my bill, then there shouldn't be. Please take these charges off of my bill. Please don't pay, make me pay anything. What would you do? Please give me all money for free. Let me stay here forever. I'm not leaving this Please, room. let me live here because of what you did to me. Well, that was it's it. It's really nice. It just... What if they showed, what if the next one was like a guy in his room, like jumping on his bed, like, I don't want to leave. Okay. <laughs> but sir, your checkout time was 11 a.m. That was it. I didn't expect the. I stay here forever. I didn't expect the tape. Man in like a suit and tie. I didn't expect it's the tape to end so quickly. It just kind of ends there. It, it's, it's over? It? It's over, oh, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> It just ended. This was probably this was probably the sort of tape where they were just like, yeah, they were they were talking to talk about it. Yeah, there were big gaps between all the previous clips. So we need to find a fucking um a manager at one of these hotels and bring them on stream to talk about it with us. Yeah, if you want, what would you do? What would you do? If you want a piece of trivia, Hyatt Regency suffered like one of the worst engineering disasters in oh no America. In oh, yeah. I've heard of what is, that. What, yeah. what does that mean? In the, in the 80s, uh, there, uh, a walkway collapsed and it killed a lot yeah. of people. Yeah. Oh, Dang. Was, like, horrifying. Dang. Well. Yeah, I think I listened to like a podcast episode about that ages ago. They talk I'm... about that in like engineering ethics classes around here because it was like, it, it was a problem due entirely to like cutting corners and like design uh... oversight. Yeah. I don't even think Hyatt is like a thing in Canada. I don't I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. But I know I know of it for some reason. Um but one thing I definitely have been to and I do know is our good friend Charles. Choo choo Charles. Whether it's a birthday party, a family outing, or Not that just one. a lunch with friends. Fuck, what's Every the point? Visit Strings to Chuck over. Cheese is a special event for our guests. <laughs> I asked for Choo Choo Charles four times. <laughs> Where they is didn't my send him to my room. Looking for great food send them up. Excuse me, what is this charge here for Huggy Buggy Seek? You help the kids sing and play with our So this is the exact era that I would have gone to Chuck E. Cheese as a kid. So I, this is something I remember. You make sure everyone's visit is exciting and fun. Except there's and yes, less vomit. Fresh. <laughs> Maybe more. Every time I'd go to Chuck E. Cheese, one of my friends would throw up. Yes! After Let's the pizza. It it's your live participation. All, all I care about from Chuck E. Cheese, cheese is the firefighter game. Kids and <laughs> yeah. all Man... America. Man, recently my my dairy allergy's been getting me down. I keep seeing like absolute Can dog shit looking pizzas, and I'm like, man, I oh. miss absolute garbage pizza. Can't eat that shit no more. Lips. That's good. Smile bigger. Now Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is scary. He chose the cheddar and he chose the cheese he chose. Chucky chose the cheddar and he chose the cheese he chose. Chose. Good. Sure, man. <laughs> awesome. Hi, I'm Woody Berry, regional manager for the. <laughs> region. That's not real. That's not real. Uh, speaking of getups, uh, Pluto, the you might not think about the, the Derby. Look at this. I want that hat. hat. I want that hat. I love how it's like molded for the ears. It's got a lot of great It's like music, molded specifically bits, for his head. There's only one of the size. It looks like a, it looks like his head was a baby bell and they opened it. 
to Rose Gold. <laughs> 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 I really, really have fun with yeah. it. So listen up, okay? We'll teach yeah. you what we think is going to be a great I'm going to fucking kill you, Chucky Crooner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! What is this countdown? Acknowledge anyone who's counting down with you. Uh, you have acknowledge seconds. anyone who's counting down. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. What? <laughs> what? No wonder I have anxiety. Learn the right words, of course. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen. Never stop. Why are you sing that to a kid on their birthday? I know. Be today forever. <laughs> Like oh, that kid is not <laughs> happy. Oh, that kid oh, yeah. does not want to be here. <laughs> Never mind, he's happy. All he's right. seven. They start happy. happy. They, they take happy. control. They take control, and it's all all right. That's <laughs> <laughs> what happens when they yell at you to never stop thinking. It's his seventh birthday. Look. I am assuming direct control. Jesus, go away! Important announcement. Somebody out there is celebrating a birthday today. And it's who me! It? When Mouth asks, who is it? You get another chance to announce the name. <laughs> when Mouth asks. <laughs> well, Mr. Mouth, today is Dallas's seventh birthday. So let's hear it for him, everybody. Come on. When, when Mouth asks who birthday it is, yes, say it him. him. Is, you can have fun with this. What, what, what is like this? You can have fun with can this. To Mr. Mouth. Who is it? This is Chantel, and she's four years old today. Yay! And, and the kids oh, wear Mr. Mouse, Mouse, or is it just nope. the staff? <laughs> <laughs> no, they can see Mr. Mouse. It, it's a it TV thing that they're interacting with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus. Seven. Are you doing that? Whoa. No. No. Oh. oh. Hold it. You might want to split the job up with another Chuckette. Announcing the birthdays of the another same time. Another Chuckette. the room. <laughs> Remember, it's important that every birthday group hears Shout the name of the to all the chuckalos. And you might want to spend <laughs> the job with another chuckle in the birthday show. We're here yeah, the what a the tune. In the introduction to the new live show, Shout, Mouth takes a moment to ponder the necessity of the three-minute countdown. Watch this. this. Fucking you know chef. Why do we have to wait two minutes in the first place? Uh, does anyone know why we have to wait two minutes? Sorry, no. Oh. <laughs> Does anyone know why we have to wait two minutes? Uh, sorry, no. Oh, all right. Now you try it. Uh, does anyone know why we have to wait two minutes? No! <laughs> no sorry. <laughs> sorry, no. Well, close enough. That's that's, that's the end of that one. That's a sh that was that a was shorter it? one. That was oh, that no. was that oh, one. Fuck. Uh, that's there, only one part though. That's one part. Yeah. Next up we've got the kid the famous kid check. What do we say? Yeah. Tape you all know the famous kid check. If you've oh, ever been left to Chuck E. Cheese, you've certainly been checked. They checked you. Hi, I'm Jeremy. And I'm it's like you check your luggage. The new kid check kid checked by the chucksters. Yes, they're gonna love it. And is this one older? <laughs> this one looks older. This is a different uh, series. This is quite an old Chuck. This is this is the <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese University <laughs> series. A vintage, a well-aged Chuck E. If you can remember three very important points, you're going to do great. Number one, people. Kind of a, a Chuck E. Gorgonzola. Number two, if you will. <laughs> this is a years age Chuck E. Reggiana. What to do? Yeah, uh, Chuck E. Stilton. Now, what was the what was the cheese that I was told about only a few well, days ago? That's the mozzarella ball that's still First, grew inside. Burrata? You need to be Chuck E. Burrata. That's like a fucking smile from Twin Peaks. When someone thinks torture, thinking about Laura Palmer. You slouch or lean. She does look like Laura Palmer. She does. She does. Small child running up. Front door. Do not leave your position unless someone should edit this and put the love theme over it. Step away for a moment. Ask the manager to have someone cover for you until you can return. The kid check stand is your base of operation. What are you doing down there? Don't allow it to become a focal point for other cast members to hang out. Excuse me, I'm trying to work here. You gotta go. You've got to be strong enough to tell you. Push her to the ground. You've got to be strong enough to take her teammates and check them in the dirt. Check her good. Boy, I'm gonna go after her ass. 
If you are you gotta be strong enough to send them to the shadow zone. You gotta be strong enough to push, push them through the ground into the, the start of your floor below. You the she did the uniform. shit Luffy did that one Have guy. both the kid check name <laughs> badge and vest. And don't forget, remove your apron when you wear the kid check vest. If there is a Important. phone near the kid check stand, the manager may ask you to answer the phone during non-peak hours only. If you are speaking to someone on the phone, put them on hold and attend to the guests in the restaurant. Also, personal phone calls are not allowed. Before you shift, well, what's begin the point? preparation so that you're better organized. I thought that said before you shift. <laughs> it will. All the things you need. It it will. Will. Facility. Facility. First, make sure that the kid check stand is clean, neat, and organized. Clean and meat. Clean meat. Also, Make sure that you have all of the items that you'll need for your shift properly stocked. I stop. love having items. Make what? Sure what? The cleanliness of the floors, doors, and windows in your Why spray? All the items you need to check the kids are like a spray bottle <laughs> and a roll of tape. Now let's talk about the kid check system itself. We'll go over some common situations and questions you may have. But it's always good to use a good dose of common sense. <laughs> when a family enters, each member is stamped with the same number. As oh. the guests leave... The number on each child will be matched to the number of the adult with whom. Oh, I remember those numbers. To ensure that everyone who comes oh, in together. Oh yeah, I would stamp them on my on my arm. If you are not sure that you have 14. turned the stamp to the next number, turn it anyway. This is very important. It is far better to skip a number than to use a number These twice. These rubber stamps are cool. If the guest like, is coming for a general. birthday party, then they will be stamped with a letter. The letters just are set cool, at the beginning of each day. Cool device. Each letter represents mm -hmm. a different birthday party. For example. The letter we do a bad recording show on paper so we can do shit like that. Smith. Oh, the I thought that said A equals joints. That may be used in various situations <laughs> to allow okay. added flexibility. Oh, I want that. They could. However, the stickers must be dated, and that's best done before the start of the shift. Okay, Dang, these kids are now let's go over everything you would say and do when you're at the kid check position. Hi, welcome to Techie Teases. This is said to every guest as they enter. Are you here for a birthday party? If so, you would say... No! Great! Whose party are you here for? Once they tell you the party's name... Nice haircut! Please check to see if it is a reserved My party's name party. is Josh! Then you would say... <laughs> please show us your stamp on the way out so we can match everyone up. If you ask them if they are here for a birthday party and they say... No! editorial inspiration. stamp a sticker. No. And give it to them. Why are you here then for the? Ask the guests to show their number as they leave, Pizza. so that you can make sure that everyone who Yummy. comes in together no. leaves together. No. If the guests come in for a birthday why, party, why are you here the Oh my God! The way that they're staring and smiling is scary. You would treat uh -huh. them as any Getting guests, hazier. In their group yes, they're the fading away. <laughs> now, the third thing you'd ask the mind the deteriorates. Is, Have you been here before? Yeah. If they say yes, you would say, We're glad to have you back. If they say no, simply say, Well, you're in for some fun. What took then you so tell long? them about some of our feature items, such as the We've great got our pizza, famous pizza, <laughs> hot sandwiches, and the garden fresh That's salad. That's not a sandwich. That what kind salad of bar? sandwich? You might want to mention the animated show. You can eat the show. Or tell them about the, the sandwiches. You gotta talk about it. But fun rides show. like hungry, hungry hippos. Now, when the guests leave, you say, "No." Hi, how was everything? Go. If there are any problems, notify the manager immediately. We want to make sure that every guest leaves happy. If you don't do it now, we might not get another chance. Now, <laughs> they might die. <laughs> Whoa, that's <laughs> dire. You might die. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Great. It's a match. <laughs> it is essential that you state the number out loud. This the lets like the guests know you're around really shit as well now. It's like out. fucking For disintegration party, loops. You would do the same, stating out loud. All right, B, B, B. Great, thanks a lot. You have a good B. day. Wh it is essential that birthday parties are already <laughs> signed letters on the birthday party <laughs> list before you start your shift. A equals so joints. The letters you stamp will correspond. B equals yeah. blacksmith. Are you ready to move on to the use of the stamp and ink? <laughs> Always remember oh, to stamp the child yes. first. This gives the adult the opportunity to see what you're doing, and then they can let you know whether or not they want their hand stamped. And remember, if the adult has any objections to being stamped, simply stamp a sticker and give it to them. Now, when you take the child's hand, place their hand in your left hand and the stamp in your right. <laughs> then you simply take the stamp and roll it across the child's hand, and when you're finished, you should have a nice, clean impression of the number. 
looks By great. now, your now special ability should be charged. Use it to grapple on the walls. The sticker has a box for you to stamp the key <laughs> check number do? and also a place for you to write in the date. As mentioned earlier, you should date several of these stickers prior to your shift. That way, you are What happens if the adult loses the thing? Do they just not get to take their kid home? The child does not get to leave. there now. Other instances for use They become Chucky's property. The child becomes Chuck. Or a toddler. Yeah, yeah. Or they have the asleep. they have the little storage space beneath the kid. Check afraid, for too those. small. The for the children. On the child. If Whoa. at all possible, the best place is on the small of their back. <laughs> what? Let's say a parent is leaving. <laughs> afraid. They want to leave their child with another parent. Say their child is going to spend the night with another child. Simply have both parents come to the kid check stand so that you can verify their numbers. Then write down the number of the parent that the child will be leaving with. Then when they leave you'll have a match. Another situation is if a guest doesn't want to be stamped or have a sticker. And what do you mean, huh? Oh, y'all ever had sleepovers? At all. <laughs> if that's the case, simply let him in. We don't want to argue with our guest. And if there's anything else you can't <laughs> oh, okay. handle, simply call a manager. Here's our safety system, but if they don't want it, now let's okay. Talk about getting ready and having all Sir the summon. items in place. Sir Summon. So <laughs> these <laughs> and responsibilities to the best of your ability. Oh, sir. I've come at your beck and call. And Maybe I'll wash your feet. Your smile. 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 You'll need your kid check stamps, both the numbers and the letters, <clears throat> and you'll need an ink pad. Also, you'll need some permanent ink pens so that you can write on your kid check like stickers. Permanent pens. As well as the kid check stickers themselves. You'll also need your kid check vest. <laughs> <and> <laughs> Wait. Pose. You'll need the hostess stamp. Those weren't clean, permanent clean, markers. Those were just stock. regular, like, fucking ballpoint pens. Those are just pens, yeah. yeah it's, 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 it's special 80s vernacular. The child, yeah. Last it's, it's special. It's right. unique from temporary. The the Take these tattoo pens. And most important to the kid check system <laughs> just tattoo is the gun, your guests. the parties. Unless they don't want it. You will also need to have tokens. Because quite yeah. often, the guests have a problem with the game. You need doubloons. Most likely come to you <laughs> Yay! Help. If this should happen, a few you have to get some tokens and ask them to if play the game until you get the game room then attendant to fix the problem. Don't leave, I'll give you tokens. Fucker. Notify the game room attendant as soon as possible and have them Notify the, the game. gamers. Also, you will need cleaning supplies. Windex. I don't like the brasso, Furby looking mascot towels, just like in the reflection or whatever. And all the things you'll need to keep the doors <laughs> It looks like it's being taken away from light. Area. That's it. You have fun in That's your facility, it. and the kid check system your will facility. work. That's it. The kid check is flawless. If they don't want it, it doesn't work. It's perfect. Enjoy no your enjoy your lost. facility. Your facility. Your enjoy the factory. Enjoy right. cheesecake factory. We'll make you a cheesecake. So that was kid check. I definitely remember kid check. I remember I remember getting stamped and seeing the number on my hand and looking at it and thinking I was like. Oh, cool! I'm, I'm like, I'm part of like, I'm part of the troop. I'm part of the system. <laughs> yeah, I'm part of the troop. I'm part of the system. And they would, the stamp would be like in like a stencil thing, like a military stencil type of thing. And I'd be like, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm like a small soldier. I'm hardcore. I'm like the small soldiers in that movie. It's just like small soldiers. <laughs> All right, this is called a walk around. All right, let's walk around. This is another. This is a different series. Uh, showbiz oh. pizza. Yeah, well, showbiz it's Chuck E. Cheese and Chuck showbiz. Chuck E. walk around character is one of the most important aspects of helping oh, our it walk around character. Experience while they the character that roams. Yeah. Ah, of course, a clean it's the jungler. environment and a smooth running store are important, <laughs> but the success of the Chuck E. walk around is dependent on one person at a time and how that person feels about the job they're doing. Here's how you maximize your tooth <laughs> Just the brother the Chuck in. Walking around and waiting. <laughs> 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 time steps out oh. Now remember, if your fellow <laughs> character actors are going mid lane, don't join them. Go go somewhere if else. You pay attention to the customers. <laughs> you'll need to secure blue buff while you have a chance. Your performance will be successful. All Pasquales go top lane. <laughs> or Chucky will feed. Stands for entertainment. Let's look at an example. Depending on the composition of other walkarounds, you uh you may need to choose a support walkaround. Where is Chucky? <laughs> Sometimes he's never on the floor when he's supposed to be. Oh, here he comes now. Let's see how much fun Chucky is. He looks so <laughs> sad. That's scary. He looks so sad well, and he's doing um, gay maybe hands. Maybe Chucky needs live customers to respond to. <laughs> the live customers. Now let's see Chucky has He's been talking fun. to dead ones all day. 
Hi, everyone. That's well, a well, there it is. Um, it appears that our Chucky here needs a little shaping up. <laughs> they fucking think you made them leave. You made them leave. All right. Size. All right. I've seen what? it. What? <laughs> what? Chucky size. Let's get into our costume first. Be sure to wear light. Oh, this is graphic. And always be sure to wear him like a pal. The new walk around costume has been redesigned. All right. Massive skin. Climb inside. This is the original, the original, the original, the original version of becoming Chucky. They're not as like dedicated to the craft yet. I got the straps. So this is back before they had to destroy him after every walk around. The best will cover yeah. any if a large adjustment is necessary. This hurts, but it's good for the brand. There are two sections in the front to Velcro. It's like the, how it's like how the 1920s the Olympics looks like dog shit compared to modern sure Olympics. Secured. Like this is this is the Chucky before he started doing flips in the costume and stuff. <laughs> now for the best. Yeah. It's a good idea to have someone there to help. Visually check but we do not have that for this tape. Well, no, we have someone there to check. It's us in the audience. It's, it's, Chucky's, like it's, it's Chucky's head on the table. And are padded enough that you can go without shoes. Also, there are Velcro straps that fasten across the top and back of your foot. Nice. Now, put on the left hand. He's got like fucking hooves. Yeah, he's a horse really? now. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah, adjust your vest. Someone there to help you and visually check. Yeah, they have. They haven't sure showed off the, the two-person tour version. I'm <laughs> wearing but jeans. But it's there. It's very important <laughs> that you experiment to determine what the jeans only came in during the 90s. <laughs> you don't feel secure with it. There was like a whole thing with partnership with Levi. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Almost lost the head. Their hands head. falling off. And comfortable. When the head is do, on, do, you may do, want to do you wonder if a fucking Chuck E. Cheese walk around guy's head ever like fell off in the middle of a walk around? Oh, for sure. For sure, right. one, sure one of them tried to like backflip and just the forward. head fell off. Otherwise, you yeah. might I wonder if that scared a kid. Too far. On the guests and your surroundings. <laughs> now you're ready to go out on the floor to have fun. Chucky's so happy and stylish now. You've become him, truly. Time to clean up. Oh, it didn't last. <laughs> Nothing good can last. Remember to sanitize <laughs> Chucky after what he did. Oh, always be thinking about tomorrow. Any upholstery cleaner, such as Woolite, can be used to clean any spots on the fur. After spraying, be sure to wait Cleaning 15 minutes ears. before you wipe off the cleaner. The Chucky outfit will oh, get pretty damn disgusting. nasty every day. Yeah. When you put Chucky away for the night, I mean, I imagine it would. <laughs> open his head. mouth wide open and scrape his tongue be with sure a fork. To brush the fur every day. Chucky will look better and cleaner if you do. You brush your hair. <laughs> Why not Chucky? Chucky will look Make better. Sure How can he do all of this without blinking? He's just sitting the through that. The vest and body can be machine washed in cold water and dried in the lowest setting. The vest should be air dried. And now, oh. it's time to present the big C himself, Chucky e. Cheese. Um, presenting Chucky e. Cheese. He's still too sad. Chucky. You're on. Oh, you got shoes about your new aerobics outfit. Oh, come on, Chuck. We've got work to do. Once okay. you put on the outfit, you it's become him and Chucky feel size. everything he feels. So get out of those chairs <laughs> yeah. and get ready to move it. You're not embarrassed, Chuck. That's is. right. You Chuck. can't control it. Yeah, I get it. It's important to warm up and do some stretching Let's go. exercises for a few minutes before going out on the floor, especially in the morning. Dude, he's tearing it up out there. Cold. Or Did even they if you put like still on him. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. doing aerobics. Arms, legs, and sonic shoes. Trunk, and a little bit. As the head piece <laughs> this man's heavy. about to do a drop dash. Warm up, sonic shoes and banjo yeah. shorts. Mentally ready for the job of <laughs> Now, let's do an exercise that. I, I said let's do an exercise. Uh, Chucky, we're done warming up. On to the next section. Dang. People back then didn't have any fun. Now, <laughs> an exercise that is the simple act of saying hi That's to a Chucky child. Here. But it's really not that simple. This hi exercise can be broken down into different segments. Now, Chuck sees a child. He focuses on the child. <laughs> and it's scary. Seeing the child. Chuck breaks into a full sprint on Walk all down. fours. <laughs> hug or pat the child on the head or shake the child's hand. Walk forward. Shake, grab. shake, shake the, the child, child aggressively. Using your imagination. Maybe as you approach the child, you bump into an imaginary wall and you can't get through much as you push. And grab. <laughs> what? Oh, Forces of nature door. and unnature well, will conspire against you. Door. Do everything Walk you can through, to find the child. And then approach the child. 
Opening a door is also broken down into different segments, but now it's more complicated since you're dealing with imaginary objects and you must make them clear to whoever is watching. Remember, the most, the, <laughs> the most important thing about turn Chuck E. Cheese is out. that he's a mime. Push the door open, walk through, turn around and close the door. Release the doorknob. <laughs> what, if the <laughs> what if other people need when to go through? through the well, you're going to have to open the door open for the them. Door, all the movements are broken down and rehearsed. Now, so if you're pretending to open a door, you can safely now, disguise your light, and light, forward, medium, what, heavy that, input oh, so that your rating <laughs> demon can come out with a big oh, surprise. Okay. Maybe we should Remember, all of Chucky's command grabs can be now, canceled into pantomime. Let's go back to the store and see how Chucky <laughs> performs. Let's see how Chucky Kids performs. We've installed a liquid cooler. Some are very assertive about being hugged, while Remember, others are interacting with invisible objects <laughs> charges your meter. Every one of them. Try to notice something special about them. Chucky notices that these girls are twins. Some kids are a little hesitant about letting Chucky touch them, but they still want the attention. If they're shy, you can be shy too. Convince them it's all right. <laughs> 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 you know, little interaction you're able to get. The fingers. Here we have three generations. Women especially of love Chuck E. Cheese. When interacting with Grandma, Notice anything goes. <laughs> Do a treat for her. She'll love it. Attitude is She'll love it. Cuddly. A baby is like a cat. Remember that. It could Whoa. Die. Whoa. Kiss every woman you meet. A lot at this table. He singled out one guest for some of his special treatment. What? This birthday girl. Uh, that sounds <laughs> sinister. Yeah, that was very <laughs> sinister. Just playing. And the key word is play. This Chucky is making things happen. You don't have and to win. Don't, don't be competitive. <laughs> this Chucky is <laughs> making things happen. <laughs> what is this? Mover and shaker. <laughs> this party is so trusting of Chucky. Rise and grind, Chuckster. <laughs> feeding cake to the birthday girl. She doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> this Chucky was so involved with the guests, he became a member of the birthday party. Uh oh. <laughs> he became a Chuck. member of the family. And He's going home with them. With just any party. <laughs> it takes practice to effectively read your guests. This was a special Chucky. Personally involved with the was. guests. Was. This is a was. special <laughs> Chucky. Was. <laughs> there was never one like him. They can't shame have him. Been him. You have to know Such a shame you lost him. Dealing with the tail. Chucky only lives a day. This, Chucky this was the original Chuck. May we find him once again him in a better life. They spanked him or pulled his tail. <laughs> they spanked him they and he's sad. To focus on. It didn't become a game of who can spank Chucky. But work on Chucky being an active and fun part of our guests' experience when they visit our stores. Who knows what can happen if you Chucky size? Chucky Cheese will be taking his bow. And speaking of Chucky, here he is now. Whenever they did that McDonald's documentary, they could have done it with Chuck E. Cheese instead. It would have been so much more fun and stylish. <laughs> remember to sing the song whenever you get to the costume. I don't remember this song. I miss when he had a cigar. <laughs> yeah. Where's his cigar? Where's his fat fucking stogie? He should give it to the kids and let them take a puff. Yeah. Birthday girl will feel so special when she gets to enjoy tobacco. Hey, you know what? Cut to a table full of adults. Yeah, there's like a fucking business meeting. I, I just realized Chucky's wearing the fucking molded hat that the guy was wearing. I didn't notice that. are at it, have fun yourself. Pass it on. Our guests will have a good time. I think that's the sign that he hunted and killed a Chucky for it. Oh man, the background characters look so sad. Yeah. One to the right looks like they're about to cry. <laughs> no, the hat was oh. like gifted to him. It's like um, it's like the straw hat that um, the Shanks gives to Luffy. <laughs> Special thanks to <laughs> that Chucky Cookie. lost an arm. Cookie. C Cookie Cheese was lost in the war. <laughs> that could have been. Nobody bustled like her. <laughs> Cookie could have been anything. That that is like so <laughs> ominous. All right. I just realized this font looks a little bit Star Trek. It does. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a little bit. It's, it's blue. Like it's the blue. Yeah, the, yeah, the blue is kind of very similar. <laughs> Captain's log. We've arrived at Chuck E. Cheese. 
now now the original series the background characters need need tech to help them and there's a tech team and i don't know what this tape is but it's like four minutes long and i'm pretty sure it's full of people that are from a specific store a specific chuck e cheese and they just made like a video about them huh like a tech department promotional video that's awesome don't you want to be a chuck engineer a chuck and ear <laughs> that, 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 that woman had like a bow tie Whoa. that looked like cat ears and i thought oh, she was gosh. like garfield Kajinko for a second they're making <laughs> things happen you you are making you. things happen great graphic that, that like fucking grim flat-faced man with the chuck e cheese <laughs> smiling <laughs> statue is really good engineering. i would like to welcome you to the grand opening of our new parts department <laughs> Also, I would like to introduce to you the people that support your restaurants every day in parts, entertainment, and technical This is cool. Support. The, like, the engineering side of yeah. animatronics and stuff is so cool. Yeah! I, I direct all entertainment. I love this karaoke machine-ass fun. Yeah, uh -huh. that's, a, that's a title maker right there. Mm. This music is really good. This is like weather report music. It's the Chuck E. Cheese writer's room. Yeah, right here. <laughs> so oh look at that that looks wild yo <laughs> you're you're fucking <laughs> chucky e. cheese purple heart for bravery in the line of duty <laughs> he slipped on a this... pizza dang <laughs> the way they're like the way they're like attempting to center the oh that's a cool ui i like that the way they're attempting to center the credits like despite yeah. the grid like the kind of grid alignment just makes you think like specifically of the credits of like snes games mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'd love to be in this room yeah i want to make my stream layout look like these programs they're using that's like an incredible workstation yeah uh -huh. you have like a, oh you're reaching like, everything and then like, answering the 10 phone feet in front of you <laughs> he seems so stressed the ghost bullets <laughs> <for> uh <-huh>. <laughs> We need another six inch coupling or you're fucking finished. We need to re enable the Tom wards or Tom's getting back Yo, in. Yo, the pager flipping through files on the phone. Whenever a Chucky is hurt, I'm on the scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, nice. Yo. <laughs> I love her hair. Do they have the tech though? Are they on the level of SNK over at Chuck E. Cheese's park department? <laughs> put yes, in the discat. I love the Beetlejuice poster. Uh huh. Yeah. Can't hear you. Put the mic close to your mouth, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, bye. 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 That was fun. That was cute. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what? Great. That's awesome. <laughs> Good fucking kid. A little jump scare at the end there. That was fun. I'm, I'm glad they put that together. You don't see That's stuff fun. like that at all. I was surprised mm. to find that. I didn't even um, consider like what you would have to do to program animatronics. You just like sit in an amphitheater with a computer and a bunch of loud robots in front of you. Uh, yeah, some of that stuff looked wild. Like the yeah. The yeah, workstations, like circuit design stuff. You're just like well. staring mm -hmm. right at them, and you get to like. It's cool as fuck. Where was that? The, this UI. What is this? Mm -hmm. This looks like this... the shit that they had me work with. Oh, that's in, uh, uh, like my my digital. Yeah, that's like circuitry uh, yeah. diagrams and yeah. stuff. Yeah, you. I mean, like there's programs like that today. I used them like a little bit. But they must so... look like that. They were so terrible to work with in 2016. <laughs> I can't imagine what doing yeah. it on yeah. here would be like. <laughs> Nightmare mode. Why? Why won't it let me turn my capacitor sideways? Like, imagine <laughs> that situation back then. Be hell. Probably wasn't just, even able to be turned. You just gotta redesign everything around that. Yeah. But it glows, which is cool. It looks cool. Games one dot rom. <laughs> Games one dot rom. Or ROA. ROA, I think. ROA, games one dot roll up. <laughs> but I do like games set. one dot rom as an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, from video game dot exe. 
What's the frame data on these animatronics? <laughs> Wait, when frame offset? Actually? I just noticed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in 2023, Chucky has rollback. <laughs> Chucky Cheese, Chucky Cheese is three. <laughs> well, Dude, that was the, the the fucking walk around mascot is plus on block. <laughs> the, this applying to the mascot is like a scary thought. If you had like circuitry in your suit, and they're just it's like, okay, it's healthy. The walk around mascot just becomes like an animatronic. They're just like, okay, go on stage. We're going to activate animatronic mode and it just takes control of your limbs. I think they made a game about that. Yeah, it was called Cyberpunk yeah, 2077. It's Garden of oh, yeah. Garden of Baby or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I think they made six games about that. <laughs> what one is your favorite? Huggy Wuggy Seek? Scary Huggy Blue? Seek, uh, Zumbo uh, Sauce? <laughs> Games1.rom. <laughs> uh, fame, see, fame offset. See, I can't keep up with this joke because the only versions of that that I've even heard or seen are the ones where it was Bob on Battlefield. Completely <laughs> 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 unintelligible. <laughs> 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 I love that one. I'm obsessed with it. Well, that was that was one of the last Chucky tapes. The only one I have left is a live dance demo. I don't know what that means. Awesome. So we have the final Chucky tape. Oh, the picture's big. And now the final Chucky. Land of a thousand devils. <laughs> I I thought it said demons. Hi. Ready for a new show? <laughs> Well, here's a brand no. new one with all new music and all new moves. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's one, go. Two, three. It's cool, that guy, like, partway through the chuckification process. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> not yet forever you only chucked up and not hating it. <laughs> oh, is this the, the video that they would have shown on the TV? Oh, no, I guess not. I love Thanks. whenever they show an adult, they're in like a business like suit. In, like, business a Billy loves going to every single Chucky e. concert. White collar casual. It, it's what keeps him going through the workday. So why? Okay, people talk about Five Nights at Freddy's. Why wasn't this kind of stuff in Five Nights at Freddy's? Like, I have a dance routine. Because they don't ever show the game whenever the actual actual doors are open. <laughs> They, sh they should just have them malfunction and do like a full thing. Oh. Wait, this is an actual song? Is this copyright? Yeah. Well, Pasquale's is back there, so who cares? Oh, it's the same. Uh, the girls dancing is the same from the kid check, I think. I guess it's part of the same series. Wait, the original version of this track was playing in the fucking GP waiting room earlier when I was waiting to get my... Go juice injection. <laughs> <laughs> Chucky was watching over you, making sure he had your hormones in stock. It's a Chucky yeah. day. Hey there, boss! I got these ones directly for you! <laughs> and then he flies away. I want that the table thing with the lights behind him. Oh, I yeah, I remember really hating like Pasquale. I remember hating Pasquale because the drumming always looked terrible, and I was like, you look weird. I like, you make like me a, a feel weird. The design of Pasquale just seemed to have gotten scarier and scarier yeah. until the end. The reason why he's off to the side. <laughs> yeah. By, by the year 2012, they put him fully in a cage. That's for the best. <laughs> Amateur hour? Amateur call? Oh man, they're so mean so dirty. <laughs> he cooks all the pizza for them and then give treat him like this? I would put myself in a cage. I mean the last the last I the last I heard of the name Pasquale, they got him working in a ghost kitchen. If we got the stick. I simply, <laughs> I simply danced through the pain. <laughs> I 
simply use my weather magic to make the rain go away. I love what how do you the, mean there's a drought? The dad there's not even not looking at Chuck E. Cheese, he's looking straight no, ahead. He, he he is eyes only on that purple slut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wants Respect. that thing. <laughs> Respect. The gang's gonna meet here at just about seven o'clock. I think so. <laughs> when we get together, <laughs> no. What even is the purple thing meant to be? I no clue, but <laughs> a the, hero. Shoe, the shoes are That's cool. Right. It's a grimace. I love the shoes. Yeah, it's, it's a grimace. Party, party. party. I want someone to find. I want someone to find the videos that they show on the TV. I want like the visuals. Uh huh. My Chuck E. Cheese visualizers. Yeah. By Chuck E. Cheese video DJ set. <laughs> oh, wood. <laughs> what is that thing on that speaker over there on the right? Yeah, what is that? It's like a cam it's like a camera type of thing. Mini Sentry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop moving, Chucky. You cannot stop moving. <laughs> Dude, your strength speed is cracked. Just keep moving. It can't target you. Chucky, once that bomb soda runs out, you're fucked, my guy. No movement detected. <laughs> you can't stop moving. Oh, whoa. No. Yeah, this is when the Chucky started evolving. They started yeah. up in their games. There's been a change in his DNA. They're closing the curtains on him. He's gone. He's never coming back. That was their last performance. That was oh, the last. I miss him every day. The last performance of Chucky e. Cheese. And the that was. Tour. That was the last performance. Not performance. The last tape of the night. I'm still looking for more Chucky e. Cheese tapes. I feel like there's so many. But mm -hmm. an endless well it'll never go dry just keep drilling there's so many I need to find more just because uh, it seems like it seems like people are really interested in that there are channels dedicated entirely to finding old Chuck E. Cheese videos so I want to yeah, see if we could unearth like, like Gaga for this stuff it's wild I, I want to see if we can unearth like the most obscure like here's the here's the visualizer they used for a song in Chuck E. Cheese in 1992 I want to mm -hmm. find that I want to find that um but until then that was the last tape of the night um strangely I'm leaving this thinking mostly about the Hyatt Regency. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? I, what would you do? I'm thinking about the Hyatt Regency. Next and, time oh, I go to a hotel, I'm asking for a refrigerator. Specific, Yeah, specifically the refrigerator guy was like, I don't need help. You need help. This entire hotel needs help. <laughs> I can't believe how long it went. And it was so long. It was. Uh, <laughs> I, it felt like a bit. It felt not real. It was actually insp it was inspiring. <laughs> I was watching that and I was like, wow, I want to make something like this. Um, but until then, I'll I'll look around for a Hyatt Regency and I'll I'll go get a refrigerator and see if they've gotten that in order. Yippee! Yippee! But until then, that is VHS viewings. Thank you, thank you, friends in the call for watching more tapes. Um, next one, I'm trying to I'm trying to work in DVDs. I've got a mountain of DVDs oh, and one or extras? two Blu-rays. But there, uh, no, I've had some, some, I found some weird stuff at local thrift stores. DVDs are starting to, because I'm having a hard time finding tapes. They're, they seem to not be accepting as many tapes. But I found some great, found some great DVDs of some local Quebecois guy doing like Tai Chi. Oh, man. You know, just, and I looked it up and literally there's no record of even that person existing online. Oh, so it's just like, man. there's have some deep, done... deep dive have stuff you... there. Have you ever looked into like DVD Easter eggs? It feels like every DVD that you bought at the store had Easter eggs in it at some point mm -hmm. in time. Yeah, like I've been I've been thinking of doing like a DVD menu like stream and stuff and looking into like the extras and Easter eggs and stuff like that. But 
yeah, that you have to actually like get the DVD from eBay and all that stuff and and verify. Um, but no, I'm I have some DVDs that are just like uh, Richard Payette's Tai Chi instructional, and it's kind of scary yes, and weird. Richard, and Richard Payette. Um, so Payette, monsieur. Gonna try and sneak some of these into into the next one in September. But yes, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching tapes with me. Yay! And I'll see y'all soon. Yay! Goodbye. Bye. Oh. 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 Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. To VHS viewings. Ah! Oh. That was loud. Thank you for tuning in. If you're not from around, if you're not from around here, if you're not a regular, we do these on the last Thursday of every month. Um, so that is today. Today's the last Thursday of August. And last Thursday of September, hopefully we'll be doing this as well. Um, and we do a bunch of other stuff on this channel. So you'll want to keep, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, in the meantime, yes, check out the Patreon. There's some good stuff on the Patreon. Tier 2 gets you an hour plus long documentary on me and RTVS's trip to Texas, amongst other things, um, behind the scenes stuff, uh, podcasts, that kind of stuff. All that's on the Patreon. The Patreon. The Patreon. And, um, and on the VOD channel, stuff will be going up more regularly. So, there, anywhere you look. But if you just go to I don't even talk about this. If you just go to sockpens.com, then yeah, Patreon, Patreon. I love my explosives. I want my explosives to explode. They're really, they're really explosives. But if you if you go to sockpens.com, that just brings you to a link tree that has everything there. So you could check that out. The VOD channel, the Patreon. If you hop in the Discord then that's when you'll know about future streams. And we talk about videotapes and stuff there. There's some channels for that. Everything that you would want is all there. But thank you for watching. I'll see y'all on the next stream. Which might be Sunday, might be Monday. We'll see. But until then, Ubaba. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, this is Garen. This is the longest yard. Ah. Turn it off. <laughs> soup slam. Waiter, there's an eye in my soup. Chicken noodle and minestrone are for wimps. But even for a mighty ogre like Shrek, dinner can be creepy when it stares back at you. You have 60 seconds to keep your soup from. The more stuff you knock down,
soup 